Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, tonight I am going to talk about mental and psychic hygiene. Now it's uh, a really good one for us all to uh, take notice of and it's a daily practice. Um, so let's start at the beginning of the day when we wake up in the morning. It's always good to set the intention that you're going to have a really good day. So it's literally thinking, getting an excited feeling on that today is going to be amazing. Um, you feel like it's going to be exciting. There's going to be some positive things happening and start the day off like that. And if you meditate, that's absolutely fine. Still start the day off with that beautiful positive thought of setting the intention that the day is going to be fantastic. This is all to help the mind. So, uh, and keeping that positive outlook as you go through the day. And because you've started the day off with that positive uh, intention, it stays within you. So going through the day, keeping positive. Um, if anything happens to set you off on a bit of a wobble or anything like that, then there are things that you can do energetically that will help you to stay in that positive mindset. Because when you take control in yourself and start doing practical things that will help what your mindset and uh, will help your entire being you are already putting that intention out that you're going to get over whatever hurdle it is that has presented itself so um if you have a shower first thing in the morning do the shower exercise that um i've put on one of my other videos literally you just stand in the shower you open a portal of light from the universe coming down into your crown, completely filling your entire body with pure light and love and taking that down into the earth. So you're filling your whole, whole self up with that beautiful light first. Then if you feel like you need to do a really quick chakra cleansing or chakra clearing, uh, and you can do this if, if something has happened throughout the day that's again sent you off on a bit of a wobble or you can just start your day off by doing this or you can do this at the end of the day which will help clear off anything that may have presented itself during the day and this is a real quick and easy one uh, all you do is you ask your guides to come in around you um, and you literally ask in particular Kuan Yin and Saint Germain to come in with the violet fly, the violet fire or the violet flame and have that below your feet. So you're using your imagination to imagine this, but you're actually doing it. You've asked them to come in with the violet fire. Picture it as a laser beam that's going horizontally, that's going to encompass your whole energy field and your whole self and put the intention that it's going to clear all of your chakras, rebalance them, clear your aura from anything negative that may have uh, attached to you because of what's unfolded in the day or if you're doing it at the end of the day, anything that might have happened or if something has just happened, you can do this to clear yourself really, really quickly. So you literally have got that wall of violet fire laser underneath you lying horizontally but encompassing your entire energy field and you're going to ask your guides to bring that up slowly through your entire system coming up going into your feet coming up through your auric field and completely clearing and as it's coming up through it's lifting up anything that is shouldn't be there anything that is negative and you're lifting that up and, and you've set the intention that the space underneath is going to be filled with pure love and positive, vibrant, loving energy and light. And you are also, as you come up through your chakras, you're doing going to 
asking your team to completely balance all your chakras as you come up each one as well as doing the clearing it's doing this it, the same it's rebalancing and aligning all of your chakras as you're coming up through your body fully aligning you and fully up until it's above your head and even gone into your upper cosmic chakras. That is a really quick way to fully align yourself, clear your chakras, clear your energy field, and you've done it right the way up through your body and remove anything negative as well from your system. This is the psychic hygiene. Now, if you are out and about and you feel like you uh, need some protection or all of a sudden you can sense that that something doesn't feel quite right there's a really quick and easy way that you can actually do a technique which will zip you up and it literally is like a zip zipping you up so your chakras instead of being all open and wide like this um, and and reading into everything you literally imagine a zip down by your feet and you're zipping yourself up right the way up and that is bringing your chakras back in they're still spinning they're still open but they're not as expanded as what they were so that is a form of protecting yourself psychically so it's just about bringing your energy back into yourself back into your sovereign being now, if you've had something happen, like, um, I don't know, maybe you've had an argument with someone, maybe you've been in a car accident, maybe something has happened that's upset you uh, and it's involved something else or someone else or an event, you can do some cord cutting. Now, that is easy as well. So you're calling again, you're calling in all of your team, you're calling in Archangel Michael this time as well to come in with his sword of light and you're going to just ask him if he would cut all energy cords completely around your entire system right the way around under your feet all down the back of you and sending love back to those people and your energy and love back into you so you've got no one then draining on your energy and what can come about is if someone's, if you've had an argument with someone, that immediately, especially if you've been affected by it, creates that channel of energy attachment between you and that other person. So cord cutting is simple. And it's I advise to do it regularly between yourself, your family, your pets, your children, uh, uh, other family members, friends. It's a good way to just clean things up and bringing your energy back into your own sovereign being because we can still interact and love all these other people but actually you shouldn't be having your energy attached to them in any way. Your energy should be your own. Uh, so that's another good way of doing that so that's just a few ways there are more you can do some saging you can get different crystals that are going to help you if you want a really good protection grounding crystal flint in my experience is the best you can get and if you're in the uk where i know there's lots of flint especially from dorset where i'm from flint all over the place in your garden pick up a few bits attune it to you and protection uh, if you're a woman you can stick a bit in your bra you can put a bit in your purse you can um, put some in your pocket wherever you want to put it in your handbag and it's a really good protection and grounding stone it's brilliant so you can put some under your bed if you want um, and it's important to stay grounded and attached to the earth because otherwise we're actually leaving ourselves open if we come out of our body a bit and we're not attached to the earth, we leave ourselves open and that is not good for us either. So it's really good to stay grounded and attached to the earth and also be connected both above and below. That's important as well. So you've got the universal life force energy coming down through you into the earth and the earth's energy coming up through you and up into the 
universe. That's how each and every one of us and animals should be. We are like grounding rods. We're grounding that beautiful energy up there into the earth. And the earth is also, as we are part of the earth, is actually flooding through our entire being and going up through us as well. It's um, really, really easy, simple steps. So I'm just going to run back through them. For your mental mind, start off the day. Today's going to be an awesome day. I can feel that there's going to be some amazing things happen and I'm actually excited about the day ahead. And uh, keep reminding yourself of those thoughts as you go through the day. You can do that heart breathing in the morning as well that I do and that's on another one of my videos, breathing in that beautiful love and out and breathing it in and out and start off the day with that as well because that is amazing too, it makes you feel really good. So yes, we've got the uh, morning shower as well. If you bringing the light down, we've got the quick chakra clearing with the violet fire coming up. So that's asking Saint Germain and Kuan Yin to come in with their violet flame and bringing the violet fire up through us, completely aligning all chakras. It's simple. Things do not have to be complicated. You've got, if you're out and you think, oh my God, I don't feel quite right. I'm not, I don't feel a, a safe or there's some weird energy about, zip up. It's simple. You're zipping up your chakras, up. So they're still spinning and in, but they're not, your whole energy system is not right out. And the cord cutting. Asking Archangel Michael and all your guides to come in and do some cord cutting for you. Uh, and bringing your energy back into yourself. And you can end the day as well, if you like, with the chakra clearing again and lying in bed and doing the heart breathing. So this is all about mental and psychic hygiene. It's easy, it's simple, it's quick. Uh, you can go through longer, deeper, um clearings and things like that but these are simple and quick exercises that you can do on the spot wherever you are and it will clear your energy it really works it's very powerful and i am going to say goodbye now and i'm sending lots of love to you all i hope you're having an awesome time wherever you are Keeping positive, remember, keeping your heart open and your heart filled with love and that positive outlook on life. Get excited about what's unfolding around the world because there's some changes coming. And as I always say, changes are good. And look at the way the planet is. These changes need to take place. So it's it, there's some good stuff coming. Good stuff is already happening around the planet. Families are spending time together. You're having time to do more things that you've wanted to do and you haven't had time before. So um, this is a really good time to go within and suss out what you actually want to do with your life. Do you want to make some big changes in your life? You know, this is the ideal opportunity. Keeping your energy field clean and clear and your mind clean and clear. Release all the fear Keep the positive thoughts and you'll be well away and everything will be brilliant. Again, another thing that helps is having gratitude for everything in your life because you're connecting to the universe and the universe is listening. And if you are grateful for all these things that you have in your life, even the simple things like having a nice warm drink in the morning or a beautiful, lovely, comfortable bed and blankets and lovely quilt and and lighting and a hot shower in the morning and food on the table. Just what we would call everyday things. If you're grateful for all that, you're putting that energy out there. The universe is listening and saying, hey, she likes all of that or he likes all of that. We're going to start sending more to them. And if the opposite, if you're in fear and worry and stress, the universe is listening to that too and going, hey, they seem to like that. Let's send them the, some more. So you want to put out your energy that is interacting with the universe or with the quantum field or the unified field, which is all around us. You want to actually put out your energy 
is that you're feeling very happy, you're joyful, you're positive, because that's then what the universe is going to send to you. Honestly, it really works. Being grateful and thankful for things and just thinking upon life as a, as a blessing. It's, it's a wonderful way to live. And it gets rid of all that stress and anxiety because we don't need to control things. Best way to th be, think and be is go with the flow. Just allow things to unfold naturally without needing to control. So again, I'm going to say lots of love and take care. And I will see you tomorrow night. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please share it. Um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the little bell because then you will get notifications when I put up a um, new video, which I'm doing every night. At the moment, while we're in lockdown, we've just gone to level three. I'm putting these up every day. As time goes on, once we're in level two and we get back to normal, I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, I might slow this down and not do it every day. It depends how busy my own life gets too. So make the most of it because I'm putting out some information here that which is to share for everybody. And it's like today's, it's quick fixes for your energy field and your mind. And uh, have a look at my other videos and you'll see what the rest are. So lots of love. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.